Hello and welcome to YQ Academy Tutorials. My name is Priyanka and topic for today's discussion is if else statement in JavaScript. JavaScript supports condition statements which are used to perform different actions based on different condition. This is how uh, the if else statement works. Here we give a condition. If this condition is true, then the conditional code will be executed. And if this condition is false, then the remaining statement will get executed. JavaScript supports the following forms of if else statement. We have a if a statement, then we have if else statement, then we have if else if statement as well in JavaScript. Let's see all these statements one by one with the help of program. First, let me take if a statement. So, it is used to decide whether a certain statement or block of statement will be executed or not. If a certain condition is true, then a block of statement is executed, otherwise not. Now, let's see it with a program. I'm using Visual Studio Code for running the program. I created a new folder named the JavaScript. And using this icon over here, I created a new file and I named this file as ifelse.js. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a number from user and I'll check a condition. If uh, that condition is true, then the statement which are written in if will get executed. So for that, uh, first uh, let me declare a variable using const keyword and I'm taking the variable name as number and I'm going to take the, that particular number from the user. So for that, I have to write prompt and then the message I need to show to the user like enter a number for using this prompt I need to uh, define this prompt so for that let me uh, write const and then this prompt and here I am going to write required and then prompt sync like this now let's write if and then the condition I need to check. Suppose I need to check if number is uh, greater than zero. And if this condition is true, then I need to print a message using console.log. And then the message I need to print. So the message I want to print is number is greater than zero. Now to see the output, um, uh, let's write node and then the file name that is if else.js and on clicking the enter button, a uh, number is asked from the user. Let me write uh, for example 60. Here you can see the output as number is greater than 0 because this condition is true. Therefore, this if block will be executed like number is greater than 0. Now let me uh, take another example. This time let me give minus 30 here. Since this condition is not true, therefore this statement will not get executed. Now, if we want to uh, give some other statement in the program, we can do that like this. Example of if a statement. Okay. Now, let's take number as uh, 90. So here, number is greater than 0 because this condition is true. Therefore, this statement gets executed and the remaining statement of the program that is example of a statement. Again, let me write uh, this time number as minus 5. So here, this, uh, this if a statement will not get executed, only the remaining part of the program gets executed. Now, what if I want to do something else if the condition is false? Then for that purpose, uh, we have else statement. We can use the else statement uh, with the if statement to execute a block of code when the condition written in if is false. Let me show you the flowchart. So this is the flowchart of if else statement. If the condition is true, then the body of if will get executed. And if uh, the condition is false, then the body of else will get executed. And then the remaining part of the program will get executed. Now let's take an uh, example for if else statement. Here, um, I'm going to take a number from user, like enter a number. This will be same. Now here, if the condition is true, I need to print this statement. 
and if the condition is false i want to print some other statement which i need to give in else here if condition is false i'm going to write whatever i want to print like uh, if the entered number is not uh, greater than zero then i suppose want to print uh, like the entered number is not positive or not greater than zero so for that let me write console dot log and then the statement which i need to print when the condition is false so let me write entered number is not greater than zero or a negative number and here let's write example of if else statement to see the output let's write note if else dot js so here first let's give 60 since the condition is true then this statement number is greater than 0 will be printed this if uh, part will get executed and if the condition is false then this uh, statement will get printed see the example for this as well here this time let's write minus 60 so you can see as entered number is not greater than or negative number now let's understand if else if so it is used to specify a new condition to test if the first statement is false uh, let me um, tell you this with an example as well here uh, these two parts will remain same then if, uh, if the condition is true then i want to print this statement and here i have to write like else if here i'll give another condition so let me write if number is uh, equal to zero if this condition is false like entered number is not greater than zero then this part will definitely not get executed then uh, what happened this else if part will get checked if the entered number is uh, equal to zero if it's if it is so then this part gets executed so let me write entered number is zero now what happened if the num entered number is not zero as well so for that let me write else and then the statement i need to print over here like console.log and then the statement entered number is for example a negative number and then the remaining uh, part of the program uh, for example it is an example for if else if so what happened user um, entered a number then uh, this condition will be checked if that number entered number is greater than zero if it is so then this piece of code will get executed and if this uh, first is state and if this first condition is not true then this uh, condition will be checked like if number is equals to zero if it if it is so then this statement will get executed and if suppose this uh, condition is not true then the remaining part which is written in else will get executed and then this is the, the remaining part of the program whatever code you need to give uh, uh, in the remaining uh, program of yours so to see the output let's write node if else.js on clicking the enter button here we have to give a number first let's take zero so here you can see entered number is zero because uh, the first condition is false therefore the second condition will get checked here the condition is true because the entered number is zero so this uh, statement will get executed and then the remaining part of the program let's take another example now let's uh, take 90 this time here since the first condition is true therefore uh, this if part will get executed now take the last example some negative number like 60 minus 60 so here you can see entered number is negative here you can see entered number is negative and then the remaining program that is the output and the remaining piece of the program so this is all about if as a statement in javascript thank you for watching